Hi, I'm Godless Engineer, and you're watching Atheist Edge. This is KERA News. I'm Justin Martin. America's national motto, In God We Trust, has been argued over longer than the country has existed. A North Texas secular group called the Metroplex Atheist is reviving the debate about changing the motto through banners on display around Fort Worth and an educational event this weekend. KERA contributor Re Rebecca Moore has more. Hundreds of people rallied this week in St. Louis, and they did it to support a display of the national motto, in God we trust. And I would speak against it for the sake of the 21% who this is clearly not something that is welcoming or... The motto is in God we trust. That's just a taste of the national debate about the exclusivity of America's motto, in God we trust. In North Texas, the Metroplex atheist sparked the conversation by hanging dozens of bright yellow banners with blue text reading in no God we trust around Fort Worth. Courtney Stewart, president of the Metroplex Atheist, says the current motto was adopted to create a Christian identity for the nation. Which means that if you don't identify as that, the motto excludes you and it's calling anyone outside of that identification un-American. Stewart's group wants to change the motto back to what some consider the de facto motto of the United States. You've probably seen it on the back of a quarter or heard politicians mention it in speeches, like Hillary Clinton at the Democratic National Convention. Is e pluribus unum. Out of many, we are one. The banners in Fort Worth are starting to draw national attention. The cities received complaints about the banners, and some were even vandalized. Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price wrote on Twitter that she's appalled by the banners, but the group did follow the correct policy and procedures to display them. Stewart says in the midst of the backlash, she's had other secular groups from across the country reach out in support of her group's cause. And I think that part of it is the provocative nature of the posters, but that nature is what starts the conversation and widens the access of that conversation. The debate over America's national motto started before the Constitution was even drafted. Kate Carte is an associate professor of history at SMU. She says in the 1770s... Under the Continental Congress, there are a whole series of efforts to create sort of national symbols. Before the Constitution was drafted, a committee was charged with creating a seal and motto for the new nation. Some religious ideas were talked about, but ultimately, the committee decided against religious symbols and phrases. And they were worried that religious divisions would divide them farther. They were worried about staying together anyway, and religion was a, just a problem they didn't want to address. So the founders avoided religion, choosing instead E Pluribus Unum to appear on early coins in the national seal. Stewart says this motto describes America as a secular nation. Secular not meaning non-religious, but meaning... Um, inclusion of, of all religious perspectives. But Carte says In God We Trust was also seen as inclusive when it was adopted as America's motto in 1956. The origins of the national motto um, and also the, the phrase under God and the Pledge of, Pledge of Allegiance, right, um, they're very much a part of that 1950s moment. And what they reflect is coming together of a, of a couple different trends in history. One is that some politicians wanted to limit government, and they believed incorporating Christianity into politics would help their cause. At the same time, kind of on the other end of the political spectrum, you have coming out of World War II a series of interfaith movements where Protestants, Catholics, and Jews are together creating this idea of a Judeo-Christian country. Carte says the Holocaust and anti-communist sentiment during the 50s pushed these groups to find common ground. But she doesn't think the phrase, in God we trust, reflects any underlying truth about our nation or constitution. It's just a statement about the times. Steward of the Metroplex Atheist says the group's initiative isn't about bashing or removing religion. I think that would be a terrible world. It's so much simpler than that. It's like, let's coexist. Let's not just tolerate each other, but embrace each other. No matter what side you fall on, Carte says the debate is far from over. We've been arguing about it since the beginning of the nation. Um, that we have never had a clear sense that this was a Christian nation or that, or even what being a Christian nation would mean. We've also never had a clear sense that we were a secular nation or what being a secular nation would be. The one thing Americans do agree on is that we love to argue about what it means to be an American. For KERA News... I'm Rebecca Moore. The Metroplex Atheist will host their educational seminar about changing the national motto at 3 p.m. this Sunday at the Fort Worth Botanical Garden.